In this video I will talk about the psychology behind stretching. Uh, I will talk about this topic first of all because it's a topic that uh, um, not many people talk about I guess and also because there's a lot of value in understanding what's happening inside of us when we stretch and also how to use these tools that I will talk about to uh, hopefully gain some emotional and mental uh, flexibility. So when we stretch we obviously gain mobility and range of motion because we're stretching the muscles and the fascia so we all know that and there's a lot of good videos about that. Uh, but what really happens also in the body is when we are uh, stretching we put our body in a, in a place of uh, stress. It's because the body isn't used to be in this position or maybe we, we, we are in this position a few times during the day when we do stretch for people who do stretch. Uh, but still, like when we stretch the body, we're uh, going bodily in unknown territories in the body, like subconsciously. So what happens when we are there is that we don't really feel that good even though the stretch feels good sometimes uh, unconsciously we don't feel that good because there's a fear that happens in the body it's all unconscious it's a fear that we have because the body is trying to protect itself when we're stretching for example a muscle and I will do a, a, I will show you an example after and I will talk about it as I do it but when we put ourselves in a, in a stressful position, uh, the body has a tendency to protect itself. The body is so smart and it has adapted over like thousands of years to protect itself. So it doesn't like the unknown. And when we stretch, we are in the unknown. So when, a stretcher, when we stretch a muscle, you notice that most people, unless they're yogis or unless they're uh, used to stretching and working out, they stop breathing when they stretch and they stop breathing not because they don't want to breathe but it's because it's the it's the sympathetic nervous system in our body that's activated and the a part of the sympathetic nervous system is to put us in a in a state of fight flight or freeze and when we're stretched we are in a freeze state when we're in a state of fight or flight or freeze or when it's the, the, the sympathetic nervous system that's working, you notice that people either don't breathe properly or they stop breathing. In the freeze mode, we stop breathing. It's like being in front of a tiger, for example. What happens is that we stop breathing and we're ready for something or we freeze because we, we, we don't know what to do. So it's a little bit the same thing uh, when we stretch. It's much more mild, but it's the same process that happens. So that's why it's very important to breathe when we stretch, not only to oxygenate the muscle, but also to train our nervous system to be okay in a place of stress or when it's the unknown for the body, like we're stretching and stretching. So it's becoming kind of unknown to the body. It's kind of scary for the body. The body wants to protect itself. So by breathing you're taming the, the the sympathetic nervous system and you're telling it kind of like it's 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 in the body it's kind of like, like you're telling it it's okay i'm going to be fine i'm in control of the situation and that has a lot of uh, repercussions good repercussions in the body because we're training to be okay in a place of uncertainty or in the unknown or in uncharted territory and that's a transferable skill that you can use in life by doing that. So stretching is very good because it's such a simple modality. It's your body. It doesn't cost anything. You stretch and then you breathe into it and you tell yourself, like, uh, not necessarily using words because words are uh, boxed. It's more intuitive. So if you can, for example, tell yourself that you're okay in the stretch without using the words, but using the feeling of the word. Like, how does it feel for you when you tell yourself, I'm okay? Have this feeling with you, without using the words, I'm okay, just the feeling of I'm okay, and add it to the stretch that you're doing in your muscle. 
while breathing. So it's important again to do this because uh, not only we train our nervous system to be okay in, a, 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 in the unknown or in a stressful situation, but it's also important because in real life, a lot of the times we're stressed uh, like if something bad if something bad happens like something like we're waiting in line or uh, like the little stresses in life that don't mean much we get stressed because of them so this skill as you stretch and you're telling yourself that you're okay and you're breathing into it will be transferable you can use it when you're for example uh, uh, in a stressful situation in life but there's no real need to be stressed in this stressful situation there's no need to add like uh, an emotional stress or an emotional pain or a psychological pain to the real pain itself so let me talk a about this a little bit more so the psychological pain uh, when I'm stretching for example there's two things that happen first of all there's the pain and there's the stretch itself so there's already a stress but what a lot of people do too is that they, they stop breathing and they add another stress to it. Like for example, I'm stretching here and it's painful and I feel like, oh, I, uh, it's painful, why am I doing this? Uh, uh, I'm not as flexible as, as other people. All of this is psychological stress that we're adding to the primary stress, which is the stretch only. So there's no need to add all of the psychological stress because it's, it's useless. And many times in life, we, if we, when we're in a, in a situation that, uh, that is unpleasant, we always, like, not always, but we usually add a psychological stress or a psychological pain to the real pain itself. So by not adding the psychological pain, you can use the stretch to learn how to only feel the muscle. How does it feel without adding the, like, uh, the frustration of, oh, I'm in this position and I'm frustrated, I just want to finish no, stay with it. It's okay because we're fine. So it's like gaining emotional maturity by telling ourselves that I'm okay. Nothing bad will happen to me. I can breathe into it. And in a while I'll be okay and I'll come back to normal. So by adding these elements to the stretch, the stretch itself won't be just a mechanical action, which is good already because you're stretching your muscle and you, the range of mobi uh, your mobility will increase but you're also adding another element to it which is the psychological aspect so I will do an example here I'm going to bend forward and here I'm starting to feel the stretch, a little bit of pain in my hamstring and the lower back instead of adding the psychological stress which is, oh I'm I just want to finish with this pause or look at this person, they're stretching better than me or all of these things that don't really mean much really. Instead, what I will do is I will have like a kind of like a conversation, like an intuitive conversation with my sympathetic nervous system and breathe through the nose. It's important to breathe through, through the nose because the nose uh, releases nitrogen oxide unlike the mouth and nitrogen oxide is a molecule that has uh, uh, antifungal and antibacterial uh, properties and also like uh, uh, it removes it, it helps uh, remove free radicals in the body so bring through the nose and I'm feeling the pain and I tell myself it's okay I can be with the pain nothing bad will happen to me it's like I'm training the sympathetic nervous system to relax and by breathing, the parasympathetic nervous system will be more activated. It's the relaxed state. So we can relax in the uncomfort. We can relax in the unknown. We can relax in the uncertainty of life. So here I am. I'm breathing. I'm noticing the pain. And I'm telling myself that I'm okay. When this happens, I feel that I can go even deeper now. Why? Not because the muscle only is more stretched, but also because the nervous system feels that, oh, I'm okay, I can relax now, nothing bad is happening to me. Okay, so here, I stretch a little bit more and I go deeper. No need to force anything. 
it's a question of being very attentive and being with the pain and with the this position here so breathing again feeling the pain you can even qualify the pain it can be like uh, uh, an acidity like maybe a taste of like acidity in the, in the, in the muscle or bitterness or uh, simply a pain whatever it is you can qualify it and by qualifying it like that it becomes more clear to you same same thing in life like if uh, you're having a, a, a difficult conversation with somebody breathe to train the, the, the sympathetic nervous system to relax a little bit and to allow the parasympathetic nervous system to take to be more present in the body then the decisions will be better in the conversation, the, the, the level of the conversation will be better between you and somebody else. So using the stretch, we can learn how to be with our uncomfort. And all of the uncomfort that we have, all the stresses that we have uh, in life, they don't really come from the outside because everything is experienced within, within the body and the mind. So again, by using the stretch, it's, it's such an easy and uh, like a, such a simple modality that you can use to learn how to work within the realm of the body, which is all you have actually. So we're learning how to relax. We're learning how to relax in the in the uncomfort, uh, in the like the unknown. And then it becomes known, and then I can stretch a little bit more. So that's that's why we 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 uh, like that's an element to work with when you stretch. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's the reason why we uh, uh, like that. That's the way why I like to use stretches. It's not only to stretch the muscle, but also to add this uh, dimension of taming the nervous system, relearning how to be with oneself, and uh, knowing that this skill is a transferable skill.